preach. I was the grandson of a rich miller and a whiskey maker and inherited a nice amount of money from him. My financial backer, Thomas Mellon, also helped me start buying coal mines at age 22. But don't forget, during the panic of 1873, I bought out almost all of my competitors and became a multimillionaire by the 1880s because I controlled 40,000 acres of productive coal land and operated 12,000 coke ovens. But you weren't letting the people have a say, which is what our government is based on. Look, I used my money to get this nice painting. Remember when we were so wealthy we became chairman of, the, of Carnegie Steel and we became the world's largest coke and steel operation? And I even spent that money on relief efforts for the Johnstown flood. The only reason why we got chairman was because I'm rich and better than everyone else. It's obviously survival of the fittest because therefore I'm the richest and I get to be the boss. You suck. I slashed my workers wages and evicted them from their company houses. But that led to the battle between the Pinkertons and the workers, and that battle resulted in three Pinkerton deaths. <laughs> Remember when we went to trial with Carnegie over how much money we made? Yeah, we got 30 million out of that guy. Oh, frick, you sly dog. I'd like to donate this to the Henry Clay Frick Educational Commission. Look, my birthday's in two weeks. I left a will for a public area in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that was to be renovated into a park. My house and extensive art collection were also opened up to the public.